Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching and spending a little time with me today. For this week, I'm gonna be memory planning the week of March 22nd in my Recollection Celestial Planner. And the kit that I've already used and laid down for this week is a gorgeous kit from The Giving Girl. If you wanna see how I've already pre-planned my week, then I'll have that video linked down below or it'll pop up in the cards and you can watch that first or after this, whatever you want to do. But what I usually do is I pre-plan my week and then I go in day by day to fill in the blank spots with the things that I did or my memories. So first off, starting with Monday, I'm going to take a quarter box from the kit and then a, um, a script from Walter Moore Designs that says Costco. I actually went to Sam's Club, but it doesn't say Sam's Club on that sheet because I think Costco is a little more well known. So I just use the Costco script because it's like the same thing. Um, then I'm going to take this cute little piece of deco from a Sadie sticker sampler and then a giving girl um, shopping cart icon and just layer that next to it since I had to make a trip to Sam's Club. Then I'm going to take a few transparent dots from the giving girl and a car icon from Crafts by Towie um, because I had to call the auto place where I had all of my like work done last year um because i needed to find out when they last changed my oil and just to verify what kind of oil they used because it should have been um fully synthetic oil and i wanted to make sure that's what they used and stuff because um i'm kind of feeling like i need to get an oil change so um then i'm going to take one of these bowstrong heart boxes from the kit and a um a couple of these really pretty lacy dividers or deco accent things um, from Honey Inked and um, just I was gonna keep just kind of do one on the left but then I decided to be a little symmetrical and just do left and right and accidentally ripped the bow <laughs> on the heart box but it's fine we're still gonna use it we ain't gonna waste it um, so I'm just gonna put some of those pretty lacy because there's a lot of lacy elements in this kit especially like you can see all the lace in the bottom washi and um, you know like the lacy like bralettes and lingerie kind of stuff so it's just so cute I love lace so much so I wanted to pull in like some dividers and deco and stuff that I had are kind of that are lacy a little lacy you know so I've got these on the left and the right and then um I just used um initially this like viney leafy thing from honey inked but I changed it out um and then I used a boba icon from fox and pip and I'm gonna I was kind of playing around with this because I didn't know how I wanted it to be and initially I kind of wanted it to kind of, I wanted the boba to be um, kind of on top of the leafy viney deco stuff. But then, you know, as you can see, I kind of messed up the ink on the heart box. So it had to be on the right to cover that up. And then I wasn't feeling the, the um, leafy one from Honey Inked very much. So I'm going to use some undo sticker adhesive remover to just take that off. And then use this really cute and pretty long um, flower kind of rosy deco from a Crafts by Towie um, order freebie. And then just to fill in the awkward white space at the bottom, I'm going to use one of these flourishes from Honey Inked. And for my gratitude Monday, I wrote boba and Easter candy because we, um, I love boba, so of course. And, um, oh, I tried the winter melon for the first time. That's why I wrote that in. And we got some Easter candy while we were at Sam's Club because they had a pack of, it was Reese's, Hershey's, and Kit Kats, and which are pretty primo chocolate candies in my opinion um but the Reese's one was so good because it was um marshmallow cream flavored topping like the top of the cup the top half was that and then the bottom half was the regular milk chocolate with the peanut butter in the middle and it was so good it tasted like a white chocolate and a milk chocolate Reese's it didn't taste like marshmallow but whatever it was good um anyways so moving on to Tuesday I'm going to take one of these scalloped boxes and layer that with another pre piece of the cute um, leafy deco from Sadie stickers and then a stethoscope from Dasha Sun Designs which is a shop I PR for make sure you use my code down below to save and get my freebie and that was because I had to take my mom to a doctor appointment she had um, on Tuesday so I took her to the doctor then I'm gonna take it's a quite a large icon but it, it was like I don't know kind of all that I had I mean I have some other TVs but they don't look as like dainty and like pretty <laughs> so I want to do something you know it's not really dainty but it's it is quite pretty and 
you know, more like chic kind of an icon. Of course, Crafts by Towie, all of her icons are just like amazing. So I'm going to use that because I restarted our Disney Plus subscription and this handwriting looks like trash. So I wetted it out and tried to <laughs> make it look a little bit better. But yeah, it's because we have the Disney Plus bundle with like the ESPN and Hulu because we already had Hulu and we knew we were going to get Disney Plus. So we were like, oh, it's like might as well just get the bundle and save some money and get ESPN Plus. But then we realized that ESPN Plus was pretty much useless because it didn't even show any of the live football games that we wanted to watch from last season. So I was like, whatever, let's just cancel this because we're not even using it. And so they told me I had it up until March 22nd and then I could renew after that. So on the 23rd, I went ahead and renewed and I just did the like annual Disney one because why not? Um, then I'm going to, I just whited out the Canva slash D plus because that was initially what those two bill dues were going to be, but then I didn't pay Disney Plus until Tuesday because <laughs> I renewed it. So I just whited it out and put Pro because technically it is Canva Pro, whatever. Anyways, I just use that for my Instagram and YouTube stuff. Um, then I took a lace trim mandala from Honey Inked um, just as a little bit of deco. And then I have a sticker guru, um, $2 Tuesday. It's a bouquet bundle, which um, is another shop that I PR for. Make sure you use my code and get my freebie. And then I'm going to layer that with a corner arrow from the kit along with one of the teardrop phone icons from the kit because um, um, after my mom's doctor appointment, we went and got pizza and I also took her to this like phone repair place because she has a broken screen she wanted to get a quote for. So while we were out, might as well. And then her after appointment, she said she was feeling a little bit hungry. So I used a quarter box from the kit and I didn't like the way I wrote it the first time. So I am going to be changing that out right now. <laughs> um, it's a struggle y'all. I just, I hate my handwriting <laughs> and I appreciate y'all that tell me it looks really pretty. <laughs> it's very sweet of you. I hate it. But anyway, um, we went to a place called Northside Nathan's and it was my first time, but she said it was her favorite place in Vegas. So it was really good. And I just used one of these cute little heart shape pizza, um, icons from, uh, Simply Gilded. And then for my gratitude on Tuesday, I wrote time with mom because I was grateful, you know, to spend time with her because, you know, she's the only one I've got. <laughs> then moving on to Wednesday, I'm going to take a quarter box from the kit and then this cute pajama set from Crafts by Towie. And um, because I did a little sleeping in on Wednesday, but I was really proud I woke up early Monday, Tuesday. Okay, you got to give me credit for that. <laughs> but I've been trying to wake up earlier um, and stay awake. Um... You know, just because I don't get good sleep. I've suffered from insomnia for years. And so it's really hard for me to get to sleep. And then, you know, if I got to wake up early and I've only had like four hours of sleep, I can't function. So, um, yeah, I've been trying hard to fall asleep faster so that I can get better sleep and more sleep so that when I wake up and it's like 7 a.m., I'm not utterly exhausted. <laughs> so anyways, I did a little sleeping on a Wednesday. I just layered... A couple of these really pretty lacy trims from Sadie Stickers um, over the box. Because again, I just wanted to add like a little lace to like every single day. Um, so to make it look a little more fancy and a little prettier, I added those lace trims on the top and the bottom. And then um, I took this, there's this piece of foil as you can see right here. I'm going to cut it with my X-Acto knife. And that's from the full box sheet. And it was just this little section that was between the boxes. And I wanted to use it as like a little piece of divider because... It just looked like a pretty foily, lacy chunk of, <laughs> of foil that I didn't want to leave behind. And I'm going to layer that with one of these flourishes from a Honey Inked. So it looks like, I don't know, a different kind of divider, I guess, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to also put um, a little, I'm still trying to stop using that word. I'm going to put a um, flourish from Honey Inked, that swirly one underneath the upload. I guess I cut that footage out on accident. Whoops. Anyway, but then I just moved the divider down a little bit because it was a little too close to that flourish. Um, and then I just wrote sleep in because like I said, I just left it a little bit. And then moving on to the bottom half of Wednesday, I'm going to take a half box from the kit. And then I have this leftover piece of deco from Miss and Meow, um, from the, um, it was the Raven, the Poe kit or whatever that I used for my birthday last month. I had to keep that deco. It was so, so gorgeous. I love that kit so much. Anyways, so I had this like leftover huge piece of deco with the like rose under the cloche. It's just really pretty. I didn't know when I would use it. And the, the colors match really well with this kit. So like, why not? Um, I got some Happy Mail. So I'm going to take a Happy Mail script from Rose Color Days and then a, um, like a small 
divider flourish from um, like a squiggly bow one or whatever um, from the Pretty Pink Co. Because I got some Happy Mail, which I'll be sharing in my March haul. Um, I got a birthday, my birthday present from Joya. And then I also got um, some Happy Mail from a small Etsy shop selling um, paper clips. So she was really nice and wanted to send me over a couple things. And so I'm going to share all that in my haul. Um, then I'm going to take a bow accent circle from the kit and then a um, Strawberry Creek Studio, an older $1 Wednesday with these. Um, it was actually like a Christmas $1 Wednesday, but I bought them in just like gold and white, um, these presents. Because, you know, if it's just like plain white background, you could use it for anything, any present. And so I'm using it to mark that we needed to order my um, sister-in-law her birthday present. So I'm just going to layer that with another piece of um, floral deco from Honey Inked, and then I'm going to take a different kind of flourish from Honey Inked, um, same kind of similar swirly pattern from that first one at the top of Wednesday, but it, the shape is a little bit different, so just going to add that in there to add my little planner jewelry, and then for my Gratitude Wednesday, I wrote Happy Meal, because again, it's very generous and sweet that these two people sent me something, um, you know, one thing for my birthday and one thing just because, so I thought that was really sweet. Um, then moving on to Thursday, I'm just going to start with another one of those flourishes from Honey Inked underneath the paint nails. And then I took a, um, is it a quarter? Mm, no, I think this is a third box. I took a third box from the kit. I was going to use that light purple one, but there was just like way too much light purple from the header and the full box below it. So I chose the dark one. Um, and then I took another one of those lacy trims from Honey Inked to go above there to separate those two boxes being back to back. And then I have a, um, a boba icon from Inspire Ever After, and then this pretty um, last little <laughs> last icon sticker thing, whatever, from that Sadie Stickers freebie. It's like a washi strip with the floral, the leafy stuff. And I had to mess around with the way I wanted it layered for a while, but I finally got it. And that was just to celebrate that, well, just to mark that we went to the Boiling Crab and I got boba afterwards. And that was my gratitude was birthday dinner with the family because my sister-in-law's birthday dinner was on Thursday. Her actual birthday was Saturday, but she came to town as a little surprise. Um, and then we didn't know she was coming. And so um, we had a little birthday dinner and we got boba afterwards. And um, it was a nice time. Um, Friday, what am I marking? Oh, I'm going to take another vine floral thing from Honey Inked and then the workout script from Sticker Guru. Again, I have my code down below with the scalloped corner from the kit. And then I have a giving girl. It's like a sports bra icon. Really cute. And I just use that to mark my workout. Um, and for my gratitude was my first dance workout because I thought that was like pretty fun. And I'm trying to incorporate cardio that isn't hit, um, you know, high intensity interval, interval training because Hitches can be like really intense and I think I, re I read something that said you shouldn't work out more than like 90 minutes a week of hit and I was doing hit like five days a week. <laughs> so I'm trying to do cardio that's, I don't have any equipment and I'm not going to the gym. So, you know, dance, there you go. <laughs> that's cardio, um, even though I'm terrible at it. But anyways, uh, moving on to Saturday, um, I just wanted to add a little something up at the top there. So I used another one of those um, divider flourishes from Honey Inked and just kind of cut it to make it a little more unique. Um, then I used another Sadie Stickers lacy trim upside down. I thought that was cute. Um, and I took a bow accent flag from the kit and then these cookies from Wildstormer Designs and I layered that over um, a botanical deco from Dash of Sun. Again, my code's in the description because we got some crumble cookies because um, they had a new flavor that was pretty good. They had that sticky bun flavor we wanted to try. So we got those, and then I wrote Tom and Jerry in my half box because that's what we watched for our movie night. It was the new, like, animated live-action mixed one, which I'm not, like, a fan. I'm not, like, a true fan of that because I just don't like slapstick comedy. I think it's kind of cheesy, but it was a cute family movie, you know? Um, and then I'm just taking some deco from the Giving Girl from her advent calendar, the sparkly ones, and then also some of her pretty um, bowstring kind of deco. It's really pretty just to kind of go over the half box there. And then for my gratitude on Saturday, I wrote fresh flowers, um, which is funny because I didn't actually buy any fresh flowers, but I just, it came to my mind that I just think fresh flowers are beautiful and I'm grateful for them. Um, and then moving on to Sunday, I'm going to check off my checklist 
and use one of these gorgeous new mandalas from Dash of Sun along with a bowstrung box from the kit and then a squiggle from the Pretty Pink Co. Um, because I had to drop by my mom's house because while we were at the grocery store she wanted me to pick up a couple of cases of water for her and so I did and I just had to go and drop those off for her um, on Sunday after we went to the store and that's what that was for. And that's going to be everything for this memory plan with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up because it helps up my channel and my video. And I truly appreciate your support. And my watch is telling me to go to sleep. <laughs> um, what else do I usually say? Now it threw me off. Oh, definitely make sure you subscribe so you're not if you're not already so you don't miss more of my videos. Leave me a comment if you have a question or if you just want to say hi because I'll say hi back. I love talking to y'all. I hope that you're well. Remember that you're loved, you're worthy, and you are enough just the way that you are and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Hope that y'all take care, stay safe, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!